Hey, welcome to Backyard Bows. I'm Brandon, and today we're gonna take a look at a couple sites from CBE. Right here we have the Trek, and then we have the Trek Pro. Both of these sites are very unique in their own way. They have some different features. The actual adjustment section in the middle and the slide, that is the exact same, but the housing and the mounting brackets are different. So I got to hunt with several different CBE uh, uh, sites in 22. Man, I started off with the Engage that I had mounted onto a Venom Pro that I got to take a turkey with almost a year ago. And then I bought the Trek and I bought a Picatinny rail adjustment or attachment that I put onto an RX-7, hunted a whole bunch in early season with it, got a doe, four coyotes, I think. And then the Micro, the CBE Micro Tactic, I've actually used in-house on several reviews and I got to use in the field on a Bowtech and got a buck with it kind of later in the season. So across the board, I have used, you know, and used hard. When I hunt, I hunt hard, I hunt deep, and um, I'm actually pretty rough with my equipment. Equipment. So I've kind of put all of these sites through the test and they are backyard bows approved through and through. They are as solid as you can get, even down to the Micro Tactic, which was like an $80 site, five pin fixed site. It's one of the best ones you can get for the price, especially when talking about durability and quality. So, so that's like my first thing. With CBE, they make some of the best quality sites you can get from the hardware. Everything on it is as solid. Once it's in place, once you tighten it all down, it doesn't move. Whether you drop it, going through the brush, you know, crawling on the ground, whatever you're gonna do, lowering it down from a tree, hits a branch, you can be reassured that you're good to go. Several times something might have happened and I didn't even think twice about the site just because I know how solid they are. Um, and that's across the board from the Engage all the way down to the Micro and both of these tracks. So let's start with what comes in the box. So with the box, you got your mounting screws. It comes with a light to illuminate your pins, which I'll show you in a second, but it attaches underneath the site housing. Then you have on the actual site, and we'll go over this in video too when we help you set it up. So right now we'll go over the features, we'll go over both these different sites, and then in video two, we will walk you through getting all three axes level, and then we will walk you through getting which site tape is best for you in great detail with a lot of videos and pictures and footage, and it'll be helpful to you if this is the site that you decide to go with. But it comes with two indicators, and I will point out in that video why those are important and why I really like that feature, but it also has just the option for a single indicator in case you're using a single pin or that's just what you prefer. And then you have your sight gauge tool. So once you get your markings on your blank tape, which you see here, and you get two of these front and back for you to mark on, uh, you can use this to decide what sight tape is best for you. And these are metal, they're laser engraved, they are just, I mean, sometimes you get stickers to kind of mount on there. I can't stand that. These are awesome. They're solid. You get seven of them front and back. So that's 14 different options. And then the last thing that comes in the box is you get four different color options for your site housing circle. And uh, you get green, red, yellow, and a gray. I love that you can match them to your fletchings, whatever you have on your bow. I like stuff like that. And uh, it's super inexpensive and easy. I just love that they factor that in there because some of us like to customize our stuff. So. Let's start with the Trek. You got an easy mounting system on the back. That can come off. You can add that Picatinny rail attachment like I told you a second ago, and that is where you have your first access and you can make that a slight adjustment, which we'll walk that through that in video too. But I love that there's that option. And then uh, you have your unlocking mechanism and you can slide. You have your big knob on the side and that's gonna slide your rail up and down. Uh, you can lock that back out. And then on the front, to get you very close, um, to your left and right, you can undo that screw and you can slide that. And then once you get as close as you can, or lock it back down and then you can unlock this and then you can make those micro adjustments horizontally with this knob on the side. I love that anytime you can make micro adjustments and this one is such a fine tuning um, you know, movement that you can really get that perfect. So right on top of there, you also have your third axis, which you'll undo the bolts from the bottom and then your second axis, which you can undo your bolts right here. I wanna point out that every bolt on here is easily accessible. I, I, I love that because sometimes you're like trying to get a bolt by something and everything's kind of close together. It's so easy to undo some screws, make your adjustments, tighten them back down. The main difference between the two sites is going to be in your site housing, which we'll get to. But the other one is the Trek Pro comes with a dovetail. Like I said, it is carbon, it is shorter, it's sleek. 
uh, but you can also remove it and put that Picatinny rail attachment on this one as well. But I love this. It has four different options for your, your length, but even if you're all the way in, it doesn't hang off the back by a lot. It's just really nice and sleek. I think they, they did that to kind of cut down in weight using that carbon and shortening it. Um, so now on to the main part that is going to differ. And this is where you got to make a decision whether the price points, you know, whether that's worth it to you. So you got 250 for the five pin around 260. And then you got 350 for the Trek Pro with the five pin about 360. And so you get about hundred dollar difference. Where is that coming in? Uh, the mounting system, I mean, if that's what you factor that into, that's fine. I think either mounting system is preference, whatever you want. The site housing though. Um, so if you look in the Trek, you got your three pins. It has one, three or five. I always go with three. I'm a whitetail hunter, 20, 30, 40. I love those set. I love the, be able, the ability to adjust if I need to out to 50. I don't like my site housing getting too full of pens. I think three is the perfect amount and that's what I've always gone with, but you do have those other options. So with the Trek, you have to undo your nut on the side and you can manually move those pens up and down to set them. On the Trek Pro, they, they brought over that engage micro pen adjustment. So if you undo one pen, you can turn this knob on the top and it will microly adjust that pen that you loosened and that pen only. That is really cool. Whether it's worth $100 or not, that is you know, gonna be up to you. But, and then you just tighten that pen back down. You can move to the next one, loosen the next one. Again, make your adjustment and it'll move just whatever pen you loosen. That's really, really cool. So both sites come with about 12 inches of fiber for each um, pen, uh, which is really gonna collect a lot of energy from the sun and those pens will glow nicely. If you want to make them glow more, you got your light, like I mentioned earlier, this will attach onto the uh, side right here. And on the Trek Pro, it actually attaches to the bottom like you see here. But let's say you're out in the day, uh, out in the open, in the daylight, hunting, and uh, you ha those pens have a little bit of glare to them. The Trek Pro comes with the option of having this like little shield, this little fiber shield that you can slide over and cover up those fibers and kind of dim those pins down. Again, you got the micro adjustment and the fiber shield and a dovetail, you know, option. That's, you know, that's the main difference that's going to factor in $100. Again, if it's worth it to you, great. If not, you are getting an absolutely awesome site for $250 with the Trek. One of the best ones on the market for that price. I will say personally, I do love the micro adjustments myself. Uh, sometimes if you loosen one of these screws too much, uh, this pen can float down and float up and then you forget where you're at and you're kind of starting over. This one, they do not move until you start turning that knob so nothing gets out of place and you can make those little adjustments. And it perfect, I mean, you can get this thing perfectly dialed in really, really easily and simply. I think uh, you'll see in the video, but all together, it probably took me one hour to get this thing perfectly set up. Um, and again, if you're planning on using this bow all year long, what's one hour? I mean, it, I, mean I, I think taking your time and getting every, you know, your 30 and 60 perfectly dialed in, which I'll show you how to do, I think one hour is well worth it for what you're getting. Once this thing's on there and attached, it's not moving. Uh, and the last thing I want to point out about the Trek Pro is the pens themselves are like they're like these little chips. I mean, they are so solid. You can squeeze them, bend them, they, they won't move. Uh, so in case you're lowering your bow down from a tree, gets snagged on a limb, running through some brush, whatever you're doing, those things are not going to move. Uh, now you got about a half of that size on the Trek, still nice and solid, but the ones on the Trek Pro, those are some of the solidest most solid pins in a site housing that I've seen yet. So not just these two sites, the micro pro I and mean, the micro tactic, the, the engage, all of them back here, bows approved. I put all of these sites to the test uh, time and time again. They have all performed very, very well. I love the quality and durability of them. Setting them up takes a little bit of time, but I think it's worth it if you're going to make the investment. I think the price points are perfect on these 250 and 350. As we know, some sites are getting so expensive. It's kind of ridiculous. I think if you are putting it in the field for hunting, target archery, whatever you want to do, I think they're fantastic. Um, two things that I forgot about with the Trek Pro that are just coming back to my mind is one, this front part you can take off and add a lens if that's something you want to do for either hunting or target archery shooting. And then the other thing, and I think it's a really, I think it's an awesome uh, feature is they added the dead stop. So when you crank it all the way to the top, there's a little bitty knob that it stops on. So let's say, um, you know, you have, you have it uh, adjusted out to a 50 yard shot and you realize a, a deer is coming in right behind you at 20 without even looking, you can un unlock it and just crank it to that dead stop and you know that that top pin is at 20. I think that is a really, really good feature 
and I think in the field that is so vital to have so you're not having to look, make the adjustments. You can do it all by feeling instead of by looking. I think that's really cool too. So if you do decide to go with one of these, click one of the links below, purchase one, look out for that video number two where we help you set it up. I will walk you through the entire process and we'll get you dialed in slinging arrows up to 100 yards. And now their sight tapes go even past 100 yards. Some of them go up to 120 if you have a, if you have a lighter arrow, which I think is really cool because a lot of us, especially nowadays, are shooting further and further, even for just for fun, um, trying to get those longer ranges. So I love that they added that option of getting you further out. So CBE, Trek, Trek Pro, hands down, great sights. I love where they're going. Can't wait to see what other features they're gonna come out with in the future. These things are jam packed and as solid as you can get. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, leave us a comment. I love interaction. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have so much more to come. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook for updates of anything else that we're gonna review. If there's something that you're interested in, hit those links below and check them out. And make sure no matter what your setup is, what bow you're shooting, get your reps in on the daily. We'll see you next week.